What is going on Drive2 Crew? Ramney here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and we are continuing on with our Mighty Morphin uh, Power Rangers drawing tutorials. Uh, we're doing them in order so if you guys can remember uh, the way that the, the order that they morphed in was Mastodon, Pterodactyl, and then the third one is Triceratops. So this is the Blue Ranger uh, Triceratops Ranger or Billy, Billy Cranston. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got my paper in portrait mode and again like before we are focusing on the helmets helmet design, so we're not really going to draw the body or anything. Uh, so I'm going to draw a circle, and I have been drawing these circles kind of in a, about the size of a mug. So do your best to try to get that circle. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, just to keep working at making those circles. So again, size of a mug, more or less about the same. Okay, so there you go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw the side. He's going to be facing the left side this time around. There you go. And then here we have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of extend this a little bit more than the, uh, than this circle. So I'm going to extend it a little further out. So it's not quite a circle. That's a little bit flatter. Okay, so there you go. So it goes out like this. Now, right around here, I'm going to draw the chin. Okay, and then this goes like this. And then this goes like this. Okay, so there is the initial uh, initial drawing of the helmet. Now I'm going to draw this line going down. Uh, that's going to be the center line. So that gives us an idea where we need to put the, uh, the center of the visor and all of that stuff. There you go. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Oh, I've been talking a lot today. All right, so now let's draw the neck. The neck starts right here and then down here as well. Like so not too far down so about that much is good and then we'll just round it and then let's draw the shoulders not too far out there you go okay I'm gonna just double up on this line right here it's just gonna create a collar piece and then draw the center there's the center and then the center going this way okay so again we're going to continue drawing these uh, triangles I always tend to draw mine kind of off-center for some reason. I've done it for all of my Power Rangers, but uh, here, we, here we are. Okay, so again, the reference photo for this tutorial is going to be in the description of this video. Be sure to check it out if you guys want to know, but you'll be surprised to know that it is actually a replica helmet that I'm drawing this off of. So uh, it still works, so you know, whatever works, we'll do, we'll use. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the classic diamond shape on the chest there you go and the chest is pretty much done we're going to keep it as simple as that all right so now that we have these I'm going to erase the inside of that helmet we're going to start focusing on or getting the uh, the visor all the lines guidelines so i'm going to erase this and let's figure out the guidelines okay so uh we're going to kind of as before, we, we tend to, or we're going to kind of break down the uh, parts of the face. Okay, so this one goes this way. So you see, I've drawn the chin part, and then here's the top. So this is like the mouth, uh, mouth area right here. Okay, and above that, you guys notice maybe, let me zoom in. Uh, notice that I'm not starting off with a curve like this, I'm starting off with the curve going like this. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then this kind of, it's going to go about that much. Okay. And kind of just figuring out where things go. You want the helmet part to go right, or, right about this far. There you go. And I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I noticed now that my, uh, my visor area is really narrow uh, compared to the mouth area. So... I'm going to make some slight adjustments. Uh, if you guys don't have that problem, then don't, you know, you don't need to do what I do. So there you go. I'm just making some slight adjustments now that I've figured out where things are placed. Okay. Before we continue with this, what I actually want to do is I'm going to draw the kind of where the helmet splits on the side. So there, there you go. It's kind of a, also important. Okay. So this goes like this. And now you notice that I'm sort of 
changing directions. This sort of goes like this, and then this goes uh, this way, and then this right here goes this way. And I'm just very, very lightly changing, uh, just changing that slightly. Okay, so not bad. So bring this in, so that's gonna be the mouth area. And again, just continuing to reshape that, uh, this part right here, because it is fairly important. So find a spot right here on this line, and then just bring it as close as possible to uh, this point. The closest would be here at the center. And then once you get that, there you go. So this goes, goes up, curves upwards and goes to the side. Okay, not bad. So that's what it should look like now. Uh, find a spot right here and make a triangle. Okay, and then now we're going to make a line that's gonna be parallel to this. So from here, you wanna bring it up to this like this corner right here and extend this line a little bit. So this should be parallel to this. Okay, and then same thing over here. This and this should be about parallel with each other going off to the side like so. Okay. And then it sticks out the side a little bit further out. There you go. Now, let me zoom out a little bit just so you guys can see like the general shape of it. It's starting to look pretty cool. Uh, we do have to add a, a few more details to it. But before doing that, you guys, I'm going to cut to commercial and let's get back to drawing after the break. Hey guys, this video right here is brought to you by these awesome Patreon patrons. If you are interested in knowing more about how to support this channel through Patreon, check out the link down below, patreon.com slash draw it to for more details. Anyway, let's uh, cut to commercial and then let's get back to business. All right, you guys, so I have gone ahead and zoomed in on the face here and we're gonna continue kind of adding the Triceratops uh, logo here in the center, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of, as soon as you establish these lines right here, we're going to double up on them. And there you go. And there you go. So I'm going to just double these lines very, very thinly. I've also changed my pencil. It's nice to have, you know, sharp edge to draw these very, very delicate lines. This, this goes all the way to the side here. There you go. And then I'm going to erase that one. Aha. Okay, so here we are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find two lines going to the side on both sides of that little triangle shape. And then it goes out this way and this way. Okay. About the center of this, uh, this area right here, you want this one to go up. Okay, so it should create this this uh, like ridge right here that separates like this little area with the, the top area. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. So find the center of this line here, so right around here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up, bring it to the side, kind of in the center of this area right here. Bring it to that. Okay, so I'm just going to get that shape nice and nice and, you know, perfect, as perfect as I can make it. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna make a U shape right here, about this far away from this line. And that's gonna be the start of our horn, one of the Triceratops horns. Okay, and over here, I'm gonna make a U shape again, where it runs down the center. And over here, you don't see it very much, but what we're going to do is we're going to start shaping that horn. So this goes like so, kind of like a upside down uh, chili pepper or something. Uh, there you go. I'm going to find a U shape right here. But what we're going to do, I'm going to erase the inside of that. And then I'm going to create this uh, ridged area right here. Kind of like the side of it. So imagine kind of like a triangle happening over here on the top of the head. 
where the line goes down the center. And what you want to do is you want to literally triangulate where those corners of the horns are going to be. Okay, so here and here. Okay, so again, this is going to be curved like this. Again, we're going to draw like a chili pepper of some sort. So it goes like that. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to describe it. Chili pepper. All right, there you go. This goes like this. And then again, we're going to do that U shape right on this side. There you go. And then over here, you don't really see much of it. You see a bump that looks like that. Line right here. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to add a bit of a thin little line right here just to give it that like three-dimensional look to it. And there you go. Of course, once you're done, you can erase this uh, triangle. That was just a guideline anyway. There you go. And then just flatten this out a little bit. Okay, we're not quite finished, however, we still have to do the eye and start right here, kind of where this U shape meets this line, and then right here. Nice little curve right there, and then inside, kind of where this corner is, I'm going to draw a smaller yellow eye that looks like this. Okay, very cool. Okay, let's add some three-dimensionality to the bottom of that visor. So I'm just going to double this line. And then what I'm going to do, once I reach here, I'm erasing it so you guys can see it. So you should have two of these lines right here, right? The second one, or the inner one, should go all the way up, like that. And then this outer one, kind of curves in to the side like it curves into the back like that there you go okay again like before with Trini and Zach not Trini like Kimberly and Zach just some shade for the glasses or just like that those lines to indicate some sort of shininess to the visor there and then let's do the mouth area. Okay, I'm gonna grab another pencil that's sh sharper. This pretty much goes all the way to the edge there. Okay, and then here's the side. Okay, now right here you kind of want to bring a more, instead of uh, a shape that, that's this way, you want it to go Convex, concave, yeah, one of those. Okay, so I'm just shaping the inside now. I want to make sure that these two lines are pretty parallel with each other, as well as the chin. There you go. Okay, and then on the inside, so you have this little spot right here, bring that to here. So now it sort of creates that indentation, like it's going in. Okay, and then right here, you want to bring this outward. A uh, little lip area here goes like that. Okay, and then on the inside. to erase this center line and I'm going to fix uh, create a new center line going this way okay and with that center line this new one what I'm going to do is the lip and I want it closer to the upper area than it is at the bottom and to complete the top part but the bottom one not so much I'm going to leave it like that Okay, and there you go. I think 
uh, for the most part, I think we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to double up on this line in on the inside, by the way, just to give it a little bit more depth as well. Okay, so now let's just kind of darken these areas here. I'll let you guys do that yourselves. The neck is fairly simple. It's just going to look like this, and then I'm going to create a second kind of uh, circle or that goes around the neck like that. Just darken those shoulders. And I think we are done. There you go. Let's zoom out. There you go, you guys. That is the Tyrannosaurus uh, Ranger Billy Cranston from the MMPR and also from uh, Zoo Ranger which I haven't really mentioned, but it is a Zoo Ranger as well. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in, you guys, and uh, stay tuned because the next one is going to be the saber tooth Tiger or Trini. Take care. See you next time. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw to so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out. Links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website, draw to com where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.